Top story tonight saying no to racism. The state of California has smacked a big fine on an Airbnb host who sent a racist message after refusing to rent to an Asian American woman. It is a first of its kind case. Okay, Cal 9's Tina Patel is live in Riverside tonight with a story that you'll only see here on KCAL 9. Tina. Well, not only is the state forcing this host to pay $5,000, they're also hoping to fight racism in a new way by sending her back to school. It's like a bruise that never quite heals because people keep hitting that spot. Dine saw says in many ways she's become numb to racist comments and discrimination, but even she was stunned when she tried to rent an Airbnb in Running Springs in February, and the host sent her this message, I wouldn't rent to you if you were the last person on earth. One word says it all, Asian. I've seen and experienced racism my whole life, but this is the only time in my life where I actually had uh, text messages and evidence right there. Airbnb banned the host after seeing the comments and the California Department of Fair Employment and Housing began an investigation. Today they announced an unusual settlement. The uh, respondent in the case is agreeing to enroll in an Asian, an introductory Asian American studies class. The department says this is the first Airbnb discrimination case they've pursued, and they wanted to do more than just issue a fine. This is sort of an element of what we like to call restorative justice, which means that uh, you know, people can make mistakes, people can do bad things, but they're not irredeemable. So agrees with that and appreciates that the former host has agreed to learn more about Asian Americans. Taking a terrible incident and then turning it into a good thing, like an educational opportunity, um, I think is a, a much better remedy than just paying a fine or um, having sanctions. She also hopes this case encourages other victims of racism to speak up and seek justice. The California Department of Fair Employment and Housing just showed us that they do take it seriously and they will fight for us. So I hope more people come forward. Now, Sosa, she hasn't talked to that former host, Tammy Barker, since all of this happened. But as part of the settlement, the two have agreed to take part in a community education panel on racism. So they say they are looking forward to having a conversation about all that happened. We reached out to Barker, but all of our questions were referred to her attorney. That's the latest in Riverside. We'll send it back to you. All right.